Let's start with the worsening virus situation in the country. South Korea reported almost 700 new COVID-19 cases for the second straight day on Thursday, with the majority of them in the greater Seoul region. To improve testing, the government is having some 150 temporary testing facilities set up in and around the South Korean capital. Kim Jae-hee starts us off. South Korea on Thursday reported 682 new cases of COVID-19. It marks the second day in a row that the number has been close to 700. Of the new cases Thursday, 646 were locally transmitted, with 489 from Seoul, Incheon and Gyeonggi-do province. These include cluster infections at restaurants, bars, singing classes, marketplaces, as well as medical institutions and nursing homes. Only 36 were cases from overseas. South Korea's total caseload, including patients who have recovered, is now more than 40,000. In light of the alarming situation in the capital, the South Korean government on Wednesday said it will set up some 150 temporary testing facilities in Seoul and its surrounding areas to step up testing for the next three weeks. To encourage people to drop by, authorities say visitors can get tested anonymously. The only requirement is giving their cell phone number. Concerns are also rising over the uptick in the number of very sick patients and the number of deaths. The critically ill have increased by 23 to 172, and eight additional deaths were reported on Thursday, bringing the national death toll to 564. This comes despite stronger social distancing measures that took effect on Tuesday. Level 2.5, the second highest measures for the capital area, and level 2 for other regions. If the uptrend continues, experts warn new cases could hit 1,000 a day in the coming weeks or even days. In such a case, the government would consider raising social distancing measures to the highest possible tier, level 3. Kim Jae-hee, Arirang News.